Trend detection in its simplest form is the ability to sense the presence of a train. Most of the custom line turnouts, you'll have a metal frog, but it's insulated, so there's no power going to it. Usually what people will do is they'll take a, a relay, uh, so they'll, they'll tap it into their switch machine, so when they throw a switch, uh, they can change the polarity as needed. Um, on my layout, I have the outside rail negative and the inside rail positive. So, whenever the train is on this track, the frog is on the left side, so I know it needs a positive signal. And whenever electricity goes from negative to positive, when the train makes contact here with the frog on the left side, uh, the voltage will jump from negative to the frog through the wire to a pin on the board which will sense the presence of the train whenever it reaches the turnout. It's coming around the bend here. Uh, the fun thing is on my board it's powering the track too and I've got two speeds at 3 volts and 5 volts. So it's about ready to hit the frog and there goes the line. So I'll go ahead and stop the track now and bring that back just before the frog. So whenever, I'll go ahead and move it up and let it make contact. So we'll go ahead and bring the train up to make it uh, come in contact with the frog on the left side of the train here. So we'll know that a positive, or the current is going from negative to positive through the wire on the turnout. It has a little place where you can solder or uh, screw in the wire. So I have that running to a pin on my little admiral board here. So I'll bring that here to the frog. And as soon as I do that, the light and the sensor comes on to let me know a train is present. And based on that, I can control signals later on and I'll probably make another video on that here after a little while. So train leaves frog, sensor goes off. Same thing down here on this turnout. I have it sensing on the same pin for now, but and these turnouts is going to be different from this one. Uh, positive is going through this frog on this side, and then whenever I complete the inner loop, the frog is going to be negative. So I'm going to have to find a way to change the polarity and I'll probably do that with a diode uh, connecting both polarities up but only letting current go one way so I'll go ahead and make a video on that whenever I figure it out um, as soon as the track supplies come in it might be about another week or so uh, feel free to review this video so there we have it